Hi again, this is Elena from eatnutrition.com. Um, I just realized it's almost 8 o'clock and uh, um, I almost skipped my daily commitment because, um, well, I just forgot. <laughs> um, so this is my uh, next uh, short video about, um, again, some questions that were raised and asked by you guys. Um, <clears throat> the one thing that um, I really actually... Um, resonated with me and with a lot of my clients as well is a um it wasn't it was more or less a statement it wasn't actually a question that um was given to me by a lady who wanted to um stay anonymous uh, which i truly respect but i think um the situation that she's facing is is a situation that um a lot of women are facing and also suffering in silence Basically, um, I've written a whole blog about it, which um, I'm going to post the link uh, in the uh, in the options below, so you can have a full read about it, um, a full full read through it, and you know find out more or less what it is about. But one of the uh, one of the really big problems that um, a lot of women face these days is basically the fact that um, they still exercise, they still go to the gym, yeah, they still feel very overweight and they use food as punishment rather than um, nourishment. So I myself suffered with binge eating disorder for a very, very long period of time and I know what it is to have a very unhealthy relationship with food. The unfortunate thing is because we live in such a society where we feel that we need to fit into some shape or form norm. Um, we are we as women are uh, often very pressurized into actually um, fulfilling someone else's dream, not our own, and we end up creating that version of ourselves in our heads, and we think that. Um, you know, we would only be truly happy once once we get there. Um, because, you know, it's a very long subject to, to cover and that will take, again, a lot of time. Read through the blog that I've posted below. But here are just a few things that I really wanted to, to take from that and um, to consider. The three, three key points I wanted to concentrate on sometimes is um, the... I'm thinking between which one is more important than first or uh, second, but let's put it this way. Um, first po point I wanted to think about and, and to ask yourself that kind of question is, um, is it actually what the other person in front of me think of me or is it my own thoughts and projection of thoughts that I am actually projecting into them? Um, so sit down and think about this really really carefully and logically yes you know i understand that someone might have said something that might have hurt you but 99 percent of the time is we fear what other people think about us without them giving us any reason to be that way um the second uh the second thing would be um why do you care even if there was a person who actually said that uh said this kind of thing about you why why do you actually um, pay attention to that? Is that person important? Uh, does their opinion matter to how you live your life? Um, if someone was concerned about you and mentioned that in that kind of way, then that is a totally different subject. But if someone simply turns around and says, oh, well, have you actually put on weight? Um, what does that tell you about them? Is their own issue. It's nothing to do with you. Yes, you've had. No, you haven't. It's, it's no one else's business. It's what you do and how you feel. It's entirely up to you. And the sooner you get the grasp of that, um, the easier it will be to overcome all the difficulties that you might be facing, um, whatever whatever path you've decided to take uh, in your either weight loss, weight gain, or just a body exception journey. Um, and uh, the third question is, is what you're saying to yourself really true? That is probably the deepest one and the one that I really wanted to think about. Just follow these questions again. Um, write them down. Forget any 
kind of uh, disturbance from uh, other people. Just do it when, in your own time, when, you, when it's really quiet and you're really on your own with your own thoughts. Sit down and just simply answer the questions. And trust me, the sooner you have the answers to these questions, the easier it will be for you to, to move forward. Um, that's it from me for today. Uh, I will be back again tomorrow with another set of questions. In the meantime, if you've got any other questions or anything else you want me to talk about, just uh, give me a thumbs up, send me a message and I'll be more than glad to help you out. Take care. Bye.